what is up youtube drew from not too nerdy here today we're going to be taking a look at the unfinished swan demo released on uh, playstation network um and this is uh, basically a game uh, developed by giant sparrow and uh within uh publishing of course uh, sony computer entertainment for the playstation network and uh basically the games uh starts off in a completely white space so you play as a boy named monroe and you're chasing after a swan while it's uh that has escaped a painting basically so you kind of have to like paint the the white space in order to find this swan so uh, let's get right into it so there's another one of those uh, artsy indie games that came out this year that everyone's in love with so we're gonna take a look and see what's all about Monroe's mother had always been much better at starting things than finishing them when she died, she left behind over 300 canvases, not one of them finished, along with Monroe, who felt pretty unfinished himself. The orphanage allowed him to keep only one painting, and so he chose the unfinished swan that has always been his mother's favorite. But that night, he woke up to find the swan had disappeared. So he took his mother's silver paintbrush and followed the footprints into a little door he hadn't seen before. Okay, white space, great. Ah, oh, okay. This is a pretty cool intro. White space, white space, where are we supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? Where are we supposed to go? So that's main mechanic you shoot fucking paintballs. No, oh, look at bench. What the hell? Trees and shit? Okay. Oh, artsy games. Cool. I wish you could hold down the damn thing. That's where I came from. Really wish you could hold down the trigger and just do this because this is really annoying. Another bench. A rock. Alright. First person platforming, yay! This is so magical. <laughs> ah, this is where I came from. 
Oh shit, it's confusing. Oh. Yeah. All right. Um, shooting paintballs. It's a door. Just not. All right. Where the hell am I supposed to go, this bitch? Gate gonna open or what? No. Up here. All you doing this damn game? <laughs> cool concept, but uh, doing this shit for like two, three hours drive me nuts. Yeah. Piggy. I think you have to get these balloons. There's some type of collect. Collect something in these fucking games. Where the hell are you at to go? Staircase. So what, the staircase is broken? Oh. Okay. You use balloons to buy toys. I guess he doesn't get hurt from doing that. Alright, what the hell am I supposed to do now? <sighs> this is getting boring. King was a young, arrogant, amazing. Young, arrogant, uh, amazingly talented. Good to read. 
He was convinced no color existed that was good enough for his garden, so he left it white. While he pondered how to create some new colors, his kingdom began attracting settlers and soon he found himself with bigger problems. So what the fuck am I supposed to do in this game? Alright, I painted everything. What the hell do you want me to do in this damn game? Fun, not knowing where to go. That's, that's my favorite game mechanic. Oh, but it's wonderful. It's up here, I guess. Am I supposed to jump? I guess from this side. Where's that Call of Duty arrow when you need it? So what, there was no point of coming up here? Guess not. Not stupid. idiot <sighs> whatever
Easy as hell to get lost in it. Ah. Ah. Hey. <laughs> Wait for me! Going around in circles or what? Ah, this is so confusing. This is confusing. Like one endless loop. What the fuck? Yeah, I guess I gotta fall and what, land on there. Ah, oh, I had. It. There you go. That was cool. I had to use that big stupid brain of mine. <laughs> the king's new subjects were tired of white. They were tired of tripping, of banging their shins, of misplacing their homes. So they started painting everything, ruining the king's spotless design. In response, the king outlawed all non-magical brushes <laughs> and pledged to spend the next month painting shadows for his kingdom. What a dick. <laughs> oh, nice. This is a beautiful looking game, I'll tell you that. Great art style. The problem is the baseline mechanics of these games. If I can be like Journey, he's gonna tell me to buy it. <laughs> Do you want to buy it? No. Why these games aren't on the Vita? I don't know. Like, don't tell me this can't run on the Vita. And since you just hit fucking one button, you can fucking just touch the touch screen or some shit like that. Or whatever. So stupid. Oh, cool. Whoa! Whoa! Wow. Oh, that's it? Oh, so magical. All right, YouTube, that is the unfinished one. So I'm not buying this. <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure some people like a $15, two, three hour game, but it's not me. I have more uh, pressing things to spend my money on. But, um, 
yeah, this is a quick look at the game. A lot of people like it, so I figured why not do the demo? It doesn't cost me anything. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, we got Rage DLC, uh, Scorchers DLC. Going to be continuing that uh, DLC today. Um, we're going to take a look at uh, Rayman Jungle Run. Uh, Mutant Muds we're going to do tomorrow for uh, the iPhone, iPad, or whatever, iOS. Um, more Dishonored DLC later in the week. And what else we got? Uh, awesome Knots we'll take a look at. I haven't looked at that yet. Um, and uh, what else we got? A few other games we can look at. Um, Blade Slinger, Angry Bird Star Wars, Punch Quest, Wild Blood, to name a few. Uh, iOS games I'll be looking at. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, just going to be looking at some iOS games and more downloadable titles that I missed throughout the year. And. Uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, once again, this is Drew from Not Too Nerdy. Thanks for watching. I am out.